LRCP have made two arrests in a historic sexual assault case in Saskatchewan, and it includes one of their own. Inspector Ronald McCarr was arrested this morning at his workplace, which is the Wood Buffalo RCMP detachment in Fort McMurray. Now, Constant Hadowick, who was working in Kyle, Saskatchewan, was arrested and charged last week. They were in a relationship at the time. Now, the arrests come after a woman came forward to police last year with a claim that she had been sexually assaulted in 1982 when she was 12 years old. Inspector McCarr has been suspended with pay. He's been with the Mounties for 34 years, most of them with Saskatchewan. Meanwhile, Lloydman's RCMP are looking for a suspect they say is wanted in connection with an assault with a weapon that happened at Neighbours Pub last month. Now, on the evening of March 27th, a man had an altercation at the bar with another patron. He left, but police say he later returned and got into another verbal fight with the man. That's when he came at the victim with a large black handled knife. Now, the attacker fled on foot without causing injury to the victim. Police say the male suspect is known at this time only as Ash and said to be of possible East Indian descent. Now, if anyone has any information on the suspect, you're asked to call Lloyd Mr. RCMP at 306-825-5350 or Crime Stoppers. Well, the city of Lloydminster is responding to recent complaints by residents about the lack of enforcement of city bylaws. Now, the issue first came up after a concerned citizen made a presentation to council in March about the issues he's seen, specifically when it comes to private property. We do have the ability to go uh, onto private property and uh, uh, enforce uh, violations, but that again, uh, we don't proactively do that. And if we are going to enter onto private property, we would want the blessing of the property owner. Councillor Ken Baker says it's now time for the city to revisit how they enforce bylaws. It's, it's got to be cleared up. Obviously, there is confusion. And uh, I think a, a forensic view of the bylaws and how they're going to be enforced and what's going to be enforced uh, with something we have to look at and clean them up if there's doubt out there. Now at the moment there is no word if changes will be coming. Well, it's not quite time to pack up and head out on those summer trips just yet, but the city is getting ready for the upcoming season by taking over the logistics for the tourism building here in Lloydminster. Now, they officially bought the Saskatchewan Visitor Services Reception Centre and Kanavate has more. It's a decision based on stats. Out of the five visitor reception centers in the province of Saskatchewan, the building in Lloydminster accounted for less than 10% of the visits in 2013. Tourism Saskatchewan is saying the popularity of technology and GPSs play a role in the decline of visits. We're seeing different trends in how people are accessing information about uh, tourism in different provinces. That sees people accessing information online that uh, I know our family when we travel we will be doing research on a laptop. And McMillan says it's good to get the communities more involved locally. So if we can get tourists to stop by the uh, Bar Colony Heritage Centre uh, to get some information about the local area or about uh, Saskatchewan more broadly, um, they're likely to, to look around and to look at some of the um, exhibits that tell our story more locally. Actually, we'll be uh, taking over uh, that portion of it, uh, just running it out of our um, out of the Lloyd Cultural and Science Centre there. Uh, so they've uh, provided us with a grant uh, to do that. We'll uh, hire one additional uh, staff member, a summer student, and uh, the grant will cover their wage plus administrative costs. And Lloydminster isn't the only site with the switch in management. The centre in Langenberg, east of Yorkton, will be run by the local municipality this year as well. The city will officially take over the building and its operations as of May 1st until Labor Day in the fall and revisit funding options again next year. Anna Kanotvate, New Cap News.